Max and I are gonna take you through a little bit of a workout here. This isn't a formula for success, but the mentality is a formula for success. This is how we train. The Max McManus. Max has been training me since I was this size and I weighed about 95 pounds when I first started training with Max. Max has been my strength coach ever since. And one of the main reasons we have to spend so much time in the gym actually, ironically, is my size. I'm one of the biggest or if not the biggest uh, half pipe skier in the game. And because I'm coming down with so much force, I also have to combat that with an extra dose of strength. So I might be 30% heavier, which in the wind and the snow and the crazy conditions is an asset. At the same time, it's detrimental to my long-term health because I'm coming down with 30% more mass. So part of what we do in here is both strength train in order to, to, to offset uh, that extra mass, but also to train finesse. We're trying to be uh, as crisp and sharp on those landings as I possibly can be. So um, Max and I are gonna take you through a little bit of a workout here. This isn't a formula for success, but the mentality is the formula for success. This is how we train, this is why we train. Um, it's not necessarily about the specific exercise we do in here, but it is about training your muscles and your brain and your nerves kind of all simultaneously. So check it out. <laughs> same way that no run I do through the half pipe is ever on only one plane. I'm never just landing on my legs and not with my shoulders and upper body. Anything, even things that seem upper body specific always have some aspect of balance or leg strength as I'm slightly out of breath here, but that's what we're shooting for. Okay, so Dave, five for five. Back five for five, five. okay, we're doing five Can you do on. any one of these correct? Sure, but can you go can five for five? five because that's how many tricks we're gonna call in your pipe. Okay, let's see. That's five. I'll let you give me a score of one to a hundred at the end. Fair enough. Just so you can mentally Fair prepare enough. here. Tell you what score I'm giving myself on that. It's in the fifties. <laughs> That's so funny. Forty-eight is what I have. <laughs> the score is forty-eight. <laughs> myself a little here. Dave has an extended pipe. <laughs> Man, terrible. I would say it's terrible. <laughs> it could be better. It could be better. 81 is what I'd give you on that score. 81. Is that one? It's a hard one, try it. No. Guys, should we see Tennessee try it? <laughs> no. <laughs> Throw me a comment if you want to see Tennessee try it. <laughs> like father, like son. 
Isn't that right? Malachi's training for the 2030 Olympics right here. What we're doing in this moment right now is Max and I are donating a little bit of our 15 year intellectual property right now. We're gonna show you the ultimate balance board, which you can all do if you have an aerobics board and a medicine ball, but it's pretty challenging. He said he was going to be able to get on this without any assistance. We won't show that part. <laughs> even, without, even just getting on this thing is an unbelievable treat. You guys make some shots a lot harder than you have to. You guys don't want to get close. I can't find sweet spot. It's ultimate balance for all right. Yeah. <laughs> Find the sweet spot. Maybe a couple squats before it. Right, like a mock up. Yeah, find that. Find the zone. Yeah, when you go arms over your head, that center of gravity is a way different game of balance. microevolution right there. When you talk about the nervous system having to make micro adjustments in real time. Good recovery right there. There you go, Dave. High concentration with a very calm heart rate. Yep. <laughs> well, you know what? It's more or less. I don't know what the number was supposed more to be. Or less, I stopped at five. It's more or less five tricks. So however complicated the movement is, if you go five or five, <laughs> we can say that was a great run. Great run. <laughs> That's not bad. He's got it. He's up. He's down. Come <laughs> right, on, let's see. Ten seconds. Nine, eight, seven, six, six and a half, five, four. <laughs> What's your take, Tennessee? Pretty good. <laughs> Pretty good. essentially four directions of spinning in the half pipe. Well, there's eight, but there's four. 
standard ones. Left, right, switch left, and switch right. So I'm doing takeoffs in all four of those directions. Essentially while I'm doing these, I'm actually visualizing the takeoff for a double cork in all four directions. Left of 12, right of 12, switch left of 10, switch right of 10. So that's kind of the movement we're trying to mimic here. And uh, especially the switch right. This is, this is actually one of the things that helped me to be able to do the switch right dub 10 uh, for the first time with being able to do these with a lot of power. Whoa! See, that's exactly right there. He just demonstrated exactly. So what he did was he figured out that it took 91% of his effort to clear that lip and then he thought maybe he could be more efficient and only use 89%. Well, he was wrong. 89 is a crash. <laughs> Try again. No lazy efficiency. So you guys might look down at my feet while I'm doing this and wonder why we have the thing flipped upside down. The reason is because Max does not want me to be able to just ease off the side of the board. He wants me to have to jump up and over that edge back down to the ground. And the reason he has to do that is because all athletes, if you're not adapting to the, me the movement, then you're not adaptable, which essentially what we're trying to train here is adaptability. So everything he does, I try to make it as easy as I can and do it with the most efficiency possible. So his job as a trainer, is to make it impossible to be too efficient so that I'm still training. My job as an athlete is to take the parameters he sets out for me and make it as seamless as possible. So that's how we end up with crazy things like upside down aerobics boards. Hence why his drills are slightly more complicating and sophisticated than they were when he was 13 years old. <laughs> All right, so here's what we got set up for Dave. I'm gonna have him do a lateral bounding jump into a front bounding jump into a lateral bounding jump the whole time with his eyes closed. The actual distance of the jump is, di is different each time and the actual direction of the jump is different each time. He's doing the whole entire thing with his eyes closed. That went way better than I expected. I did open my eyes just before that last landing. So I'm gonna try to do it perfectly, no eyes, but that's a good start. <laughs> there it is, legit. <laughs> so I can't ever do things just one direction. So I pulled it off, jumping as high and as far as I could. Jumping to the right, now I'm doing it to the left. Here we go. Did it. <laughs> Out here we're training for the absolute, we're training the fringe, we're training the absolute hardest positions, the hardest things that I can, most, the most compromised position I can get myself into. Because if I can train for that, then everything less than that is fine. And one of the ways we do that is do a lot of things with eyes closed. Anybody who's ever tried to balance with their eyes closed, just stand on one foot. Try it right now in front of your computer or your phone or whatever it is. Stand on one, stand on one foot, and then put your arms behind your back and then close your eyes to see if you can just stand there. It's amazing. Your eyes are open, you're fine. As soon as you close your eyes, you're all kinds of uncertain. So, one of the things we're doing right now is jumping with my eyes closed. What are the, uh, what are the rules against touching the box in the middle? Well, what are the rules against you not touching the snow on each trick on your landing? Yeah. <laughs> Is there any point deductions there? <laughs> Heavily deductions. You think you can hide that from 28 different cameras? Right. I'll take that win. That's a win.
Want the straws? Malachi's hungry. So am I. You want me to go get those for you? <laughs> this is the dad life. Malachi handed me these. So I'm gonna do this next drill with these in my pocket. Just so you guys know, I'm not gonna starve out here. I have snacks. One for one, my record will not get that. It's not going to get you better than that. Deal. Bingo. New record. New lifelong record. That is as good as it gets. There you go, Dave. Say it. I had to say it. Of course I had to say it. I had to say it. Ah, four in a row. That's the best I've ever done on this thing. That's gonna be really hard. Yeah, you can even see how quick he's doing. <laughs> you all saw it right here. The heart attack feeling when you're like, oh gosh. Yeah, when the thing down. is gone, it's That's gone. One degree of difficulty more. <laughs> Seven. I'll take New seven record. Seven. New PB. Bottom line, you know what he mastered right there in real time? He, he mastered the finesse of the landing. Talk about landing light, that was landing light. It took me like 15 tries to land the very first one ever. Now I just did seven in a row. That's like brain evolution. The nervous system is making the micro adjustments at such a, such a fast, accurate level that he went from one out of 15 to seven out of seven. There you go, Dan. There we go. There we go. <laughs> That's what we're training out here. And Malachi is doing his his best today. Are you doing your best today, Malachi? Yeah! <laughs> That's the ending right there, the vlog. Is that my? <laughs> That's it. It's a wrap. That's a wrap, folks. Thanks for tuning in.